Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and welcome back to some more Hearthstone, week 3 of the Tavern Brawl! The Tavern Brawl Spiders! Spiders everywhere, spiders have overrun everything, including your deck, whatever class you play, your deck will be teaming with web spinners. Ends in 2 days, as you can see I already have 4 wins! That's because I already played this, I recorded it even, and the recording was terrible. I don't know what happened, I record PC stuff with NVIDIA Shadow Play. And let me just give you a quick hint as to what it looked like when I finished recording that. Yeah, it was pretty gross looking. I don't know what happened. It was weird. I like this weird bug where like everything kind of froze for a second right as soon as I started recording. And so as a result, I think it messed up the rest of the recording. It was really gross. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play some more and record it and post up here on YouTube channel for the sake of completeness. Now, it may not be as long as the original one. The original video was about an hour long and we had some fun. And I was playing a priest. I had the daily quest to uh, do the priest or a paladin. And I thought the paladin hero power for this particular tavern role would just be silly. So I went with the priest, and that's what I'm going to do here in this video as well. We're going to play some more priests. I think priest is one of the better ones, honestly, to use for this particular tavern brawl. Um, I'm thinking of the mage. The mage can be good in a certain scenario. That scenario is if you get Godzilla, the legendary beast for the hunter that you can get from a web spinner. And it basically, it's a 6-9, I want to say. I, I think that's the stat line, but it's about a 6-9. And whenever it takes damage, you double its attack. And you can make it take damage by pinging it with your hero power as a mage, thus making it snowball ridiculously. I actually ended up playing a mage earlier who did not realize that could happen. And so he never pinged his Gazarilla, which was amazing because he could have easily won if that were the case. All right, bring in a druid here to start. I gotta say, the druid I don't see being that great. The druid can kill off the web spinners for free with his hero power. But that's kind of the whole point is you, you want your web spinners to die so that you can, you know... Get beasts from them that aren't one ones. Uh, priests have some fun cards. Keep in mind, all these decks are pre-built. They are all uh, pre-made by the game itself, which I think is probably the best way to do it. Uh, what we saw in, in week two of the Tavern Brawl with the uh, Banana Bash, I think it was called actually Banana Brawl. What we saw from that was... Whoa, we're having some lag issues here. What we saw from that is... Um, Players would just continue to use net decks regardless, which I which I didn't think was very cool. You know, we would go in there expecting Tavern Brawl, expecting to use some fun decks. I personally I ended up making a a spell power rogue to try and make it so I could uh, benefit from all the banana spells I was getting as my uh, minions would die and such. And while I was doing that, I'm sitting there facing, you know, Face Hunter and Tempo Mage and all these other things, and it's like, well, I mean, does this really defeat the purpose of a, of a fun new adventure, bringing around the same decks that we're used to running and seeing in Ladder? So, I, I didn't think it was really that great. I like it more like when Week 1, where it was Ragnos versus Nefarian, and the decks were made for you, and they were really interesting, say a bunch of ridiculously OP cards and really fun rules. And then this one, I think I think this is a lot better than Week 2, because the decks are pre-built. I think, going forward, all Tavern Brawls really need to have pre-built decks built in, in one way or another. Because I, I really think it's going to be more fun for everybody in general, if that's the case. But looky here, holy crap. He is filling it up with spiders. Here's the thing, man. If you if you're just gonna try and just you know ram these all down my throat, I'm gonna win because I'm a priest and I can heal myself. The strategy that I have come up with with this setup, right, with with, with this tavern brawl, is if you're playing a priest, you can kind of win because you kind of just you go face, right? You go face a lot, right? No trade, me go face. Yeah, that, that's what you do here. And until eventually they trade. The reason why you want them to trade their web spinners into yours and not vice versa is because when they trade into yours, you get beasts. Oh, you get a bunch of beast cards. And uh, you can play them first before he has a chance to out his beast. And it just kind of gives you that edge, which is pretty nice. But you know what's not very nice? We get everything that's going on here. But Shadow Madness actually really helps here. So let's go ahead and grab you. That's right. Let's run you into you. That's right. All right, so we get an Iron Fur Grizzly. And now, sadly, I'm going to have to trade because these guys are a bit too powerful for me to not trade. Whoop, things are going slow here. Things are going slow. Job's done. Job's done. And I now have a clear board and a handful. Hey, that's the first that's the first captain's parrot. Imagine a world where you would get like a handful of captain's parrot. Quite literally the worst card you can get 
from the web spinner. It's a 1-1 for 2, and if Foulcry does not exist, if Foulcry of putting a random pirate into your deck does not matter because this deck is pre-built and there are guaranteed to be no pirates in it. Man. Alright, you're gonna you're gonna give me a muckla, huh? Alright. You know what I would like? It? Oh, I'm gonna silence the hell out of that thing. Alright, we'll see you later, web spinner. So we're gonna go ahead and silence you. I ain't gonna be having any of that. No thank you. Three mana left to play with. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we Iron Fur Grizzly. I would have liked to have been able to buff up the Iron Fur, but then again, I don't know. Actually, we'll Jungle Panther. We'll Jungle Panther. We'll Jungle Panther, then next turn, we'll buff him up with a banana, and we'll take out King Mukla. And if he doesn't kill off my Owl, which he could with his hero power, then I'll use the Owl to take out his 2-2 Hyena. Although I will say this first game, I, that that combo right there with the Druid. I mean, I, that's actually the first time I've ran to a Druid in this Tavern Brawl, and that's a really good thing. If you can give all your Web Spinners plus one, plus one, pretty insane. Did not play around that at all, but the strategy I usually use with a priest is just go face, go face all the time, and if they decide to go face back at you, it's like, whatever, lol, I heal myself back up, and then they realize, yeah, they're not going to be able to make a dent with their web spinners, so they have to trade into your web spinners, thus giving you both beasts, but since they're the ones that traded, you get to play your beast cards first the next turn and get them out on the board first, and they have to kind of play off of you. It, it keeps it keeps you ahead. It keeps the tempo going, it kind of keeps you ahead, and... Uh, yeah, that's that's really why I found while playing this, but yeah. Time waits for no one. This guy doesn't know what tempo means. I think he went AFK. Maybe he went to go grab a beverage. He's like, How did he kill my perfectly awesome board with his mind control attack or not mind control attack, shadow madness. I like how it gets quiet. If you hover over these, it takes the color away from everything else and then also makes things quieter. But man, if you're just gonna AFK right here, you're gonna give me this W. You're gonna give me this W? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Woo! Alright, things were looking kind of scary there for a bit, but let's go ahead and smack you into you. Let's smack you into you, and now let's get some of that tempo we were talking about earlier. Let's get a banana man on, let's get bananas on him, and yeah, alright. Maybe he's still AFK, maybe he's still AFK. Come on, still AFK. Come on, let him come back to the biggest, scariest board of them all. I love when people go AFK in Hearthstone, because then you feel like you're getting, you feel, it feels like you're getting away with something. You know, you're like, oh boy, oh boy, you gotta hurry up and make my turn, that way. He can't, he doesn't have time to like do anything. I'm just gonna heal up, attack face, attack face, and turn. Come on, you gotta hurry up. You gotta make your turns as fast as possible when they're AFK so you get as many of them off before they get back. <laughs> oh, I like this. This is fun. No, oh, he's back. <laughs> well, the comeback is real. He comes back and now you have a 5 5, a 4 4 with taunt, and a web spinner already on the board. Poison Seeds! Ah! Druids are good for this! This is the first time I've seen a Druid in this one. He has got some plays. Alright, I mean, I still got a bunch of 2-2s. Two What's he got now? Ah, he's gonna get a plus 2, plus 2, and taunt. I'm gonna silence it. I'm gonna silence it. I'm gonna silence it. I'm gonna silence it. Change mage attack to be equal to its health. That's gonna be really good on my Snapjaw. So let's put out the Snapjaw. And not act like we have this card. Let's silence off that. Yes, yes. Now we got two manor left to play with. Manor, manor, manor. Do I kill off his things? Yes. As much as I don't want it. Let's kill off his things. And let's get out the Haunted Creeper. Because that's actually that's actually one of the better beast cards, I think. I like getting it. You know, it's a pretty sticky card. It's essentially a well, it's really a two three for two, but you have to do two you have to try use two actions to remove it. Haunted Creeper is just a pretty good card in general, in my opinion. And we can enter fire the big scary Oasis Snapjaw to a 7-7 this turn. And we can use it to kill off that if we would like. Angry Chicken, we can kill that with our web spinner. We can kill that. We can actually kill off the Angry Chick. We can kill off everything he's got right now, really. But do we want to? Let's have, let's have what we got. So that's 9 damage right there. Uh, 7 damage plus 2, that's 9 damage. 13, 14, that's 15 damage on board. Hmm. Do I just push it? Do I push it is the question. I think I do. I think I do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and heal myself. We're going to get that on the board. We're going to get you on the board. And we'll get you on the board for the sake of doing it. I don't, I'm going to keep that web spinner just in case. We're going to buff up you. And we're going to go crazy to the face. And hope he doesn't have an answer. Because right now he's going to have to trade in his uh, Savannah High main. And one of his other guys just to be able to take out the uh, Oasis Snapjaw here. So, yeah. 
I think I think, I think things are looking pretty good here. He shouldn't have been AFK. So what you get? So what you get? He probably had to answer the phone or take out the trash or catch the mailman or I don't know what he had to do. But uh, <laughs> it worked out for me in the end. So he's gonna leave my big seven seven on the board. What's the other say? What what solution do you have here? Maybe he just did that because he has a quest to kill off a certain amount of minions. He wants to kill that mob. Ooh, level level twenty for a golden mine blast. Last one I got was level fifteen. Hey, well let's keep on going. I'm gonna keep going with the priest. I really like the priest for this particular for this particular tavern brawl. Although what we saw right there, the druid has some scary stuff between poison seeds and uh, what was it? Call of the wild, mark of the wild, something along those lines, where you're, you gave all your guys plus one plus one. That was kind of scary, at least in the context of how I play against guys in this particular tavern brawl. It's pretty scary. Rarity colors in order: white is common, blue is rare, purple is epic, and orange is legendary. Nice, drop my cap. Ooh, Jaina. All right. Might might be trying. Might be hoping for guys. Well, honestly though, I haven't noticed the mage being that. You you can get shadow form in this deck. I played like seven games or so with this deck, and I'm yet to see shadow form. Ooh, kind of want to keep that. But then again, I kind of like the fact that I can heal myself. I'm gonna put it back in the deck for now. Try to get more web spinners. But Valen chosen. I've never seen that in this deck yet. Does the deck change? I literally have played this deck a ton. And I'm yet to see any of this. But the mage, uh, hero power, doesn't really seem to help it too much in this particular one in terms of like killing off my guys because like you want your web spinners to die anyway, right? You can kill off your own web spinners, which could be nice, but uh, aside from that, the only real benefit I've noticed to playing a mage in this tavern brawl is you want uh, Godzilla to come out. And that's complete RNG as whether or not you get him from your web spinner. So. I can definitely snowball on you pretty quick, but uh, so here's what we're here. We're going to do the old strategy, old tried and true. I'm going to just flood the board as fast as I can with these web spinners and attack his face and wait for him to trade into me. Now, I may actually villain chosen next turn. Yes, uh, making one of these web spinners a 3-5 with a death rattle of giving me a random beast, I think is pretty good. Especially if you consider that I spent four mana to get that. A 3-5... For four that has plus one spell damage and a death rattle of uh, add a random beast card to your hand. That's ridiculously good. Ridiculously good. That would be like legendary quality of a card. So yeah, I'm totally gonna do that. Ooh, we get a high main. Right. Oh man, the high main. Alright, Velen's chosen. We look at that. We have a three five with spell damage plus one and in that death rattle. And we spent four mana to do it. That's a good card right there. That would be legendary quality, man. It really would. That is a very, very good card. That's, that's worth it right there, man. And he's going to remove it with something. But if he had to remove it, why not? Cone of Cold. Freeze a minion and the minions next to it deal one damage to them. Thank you for the Iron Beak Owl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Circle of Healing. <laughs> That is just funny. Then again, he doesn't really necessarily need healed right now. Especially when I can do the healing myself. So we'll do it that way. We'll just heal myself. I'll save the circle of healing for later. Because this is a zero mana card that restores four health to all my mains. Could be potentially very, very powerful. Also, it could be potentially terrifying if I get like knocked my soul priest. If that's even in this deck, which I don't think it is. Then again, I've seen a lot of cards today that I thought weren't in this deck that are apparently like shadow form. And uh, Velen's Chosen, which I used on the uh, web spinner. Now, what are you going to do to stop my big scary 3-5? What are you going to do? Oh. Flood in the board, I see. Hungry Crab! That's also a pretty terrible one, but it's a 1-2 for 1, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Captain's Parrot is still the worst one. Gazrilla! And the Core Rager. Rock on. All right, so he still doesn't have any answers, which I am just in love with. Um, let's just flood. I would like to flood the board here. We're going to silence off one of them so he actually gets less benefit from it. And heal up my face and attack your face and end our turn. Next turn, we can get out the big Savannah high main if we would like to. Big scary card. And turn after that, we can get out Godzilla if we would like to. Big scary minion. Right now, he he's, he's playing defensive. It's weird. He's on tilt. I'm liking it. Now you're gonna get the one one at me. The one two. Whew! That two damaged my face. All right. So now let's get out a big scary Savannah high main. 
<laughs> and now he really has to consider who he wants to kill. It, it, it's brilliant. It really is. Because I have a 3-5 card. That he could kill that. Oh, you're going to kill my 3-5 card? Oh, no. Please don't do that. Because now I'm going to have another beast card thrown into my hand. Or he it's potential. He might just do... Oh, I think he's going ultra aggressive. He's just going to go face here. I think he's going to go face here. Entirely possible. What's he going to do? Hmm? That wouldn't make much sense. Neither would that. Okay. That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, he has a board in his hand. Okay. Okay. Ah, yes. He moved. Yes. Yes, I see. I see. I see the plays. I see the... Oh, look at you. You're adorable. All right. All right. I see the plays. I see the plays. Ah, now he's going to ice lance. Ah, all that age. AoE and... uh CC, so fun. All right, Gazrilla. Nah, doesn't seem that great, honestly. Jungle Panther seems pretty great. Uh, Web Scanner seems pretty great. You seem pretty great. Healing my face seems pretty great. And Circle of Healing to get you back up there seems pretty great. And then killing off the guy that's buffing up your cards also seems pretty great. All right, so right back in it. Right back in it, right back in it. And if I can get down Gazrilla and then maybe a web spinner, I can actually get out my core rager, maybe when my hand is empty, giving it plus three plus three, making it a seven seven for four, which could be potentially Whew. Just scurry. That's right, that's right. Trade all the things. I would get freak Ah he got Gazrilla! No! No! No Barry's not supposed to get Gazrilla! Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> 12, 17. He can do 17 damage next turn. Ah, oh, wait, I can kill off his stuff, so not technically, but ah. All right, uh, Godzilla of my own would be good, but I think my Exna is even better to kill off that freaking Godzilla. And for the sake of it, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna kill that, and we're gonna run face. All right, so if he doesn't have a way to get rid of my Exna, oh man, if he can get rid of my Exna, I think I'm screwed. Yes, yes, see, but, but I played a mage before that didn't realize he could do this and double the attack, which is hilarious. Ah, uh, okay, so he can't remove my Exna, so he's just gonna go for the 12 damage to my face now. All right, well, I can still get, I can get rid of it. I can get rid of it, and I can heal myself and things will be okie-dory for me, hopefully. All right, so we kill off that, first and foremost. That's the obvious choice. Yes. Thank you, my Exna. You did your job. You did it well. All right, so. Do I heal myself in Godzilla? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think we do. I think we do. I think we do. And attack his face. Put on a little bit of pressure. A little bit of pressure. Now here's the thing, how are you going to be able to move? I'm not going to be able to enrage Gazrilla, but I'll be able to... God, I sound like a very racist Asian stereotype when I say, Gazrilla! <laughs> I don't know, it's Gazrilla! <laughs> but yeah, I have no way of enraging it. Oh, he's going to be going face. He's going to be He's going to be going face, because everybody knows that face is the place. Well, Gazrilla I'm going to use to kill off his guys. Uh, specifically, that freaking jungle panther is gonna need to die first and foremost. Can you turn there, bud? You done everything you can. Yeah. Now, I knew this, I knew this guy inside this tent snored, but I never heard him go. Rah, 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 rah. All right, so kill off you. That's right. All right. All right. Uh, heal my face because I'd prefer not dying. Uh, web spinner, web spinner, web spinner, not King Mukla, because that would just be stupid. And Core Rager. <laughs> See, giving him King Mukla, or putting out King Mukla, would give him two bananas, which could give him minion plus one plus one. That's effectively giving him two extra attack next turn, which is not something I want to do. So, King Mukla stays here. Stay, King Mukla, you're, you're going to hang out right here, right here in this hand. You're not going anywhere. Captain's Parrot, you're going to stay here too, because you're quite literally the worst card I could get from a web spinner. Quite literally. There's nothing epic about a Captain's Parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing epic. That card should be a common. It really should be. It really should be. Ah, look at you. We're going to have to do some trading. He doesn't have a way to get rid of God's Rule. I really don't think he does. Angry Chicken. Ooh, Stampede and Kodo. That's the first time I've seen that so far. Starving Buzzard. Alright, Starving Buzzard's pretty good to get, honestly, because of all the web spirits you get from your deck. Does he have anything? 
he's fishing. He's fishing. He, 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 I don't think there's anything for him to get. Nope, that's GG. That's GG. Ooh, bananas. Thank you. All right, well. Banana. Banana. And bam! Guys, we're live! <laughs> Big scary thing, guys. Bro. Let's try and get one more win. That way, I'll get uh, that way I'll get uh, my three wins, get my ten gold. Uh, we'll go for one more win. Hopefully, we can get that. Uh, I'm looking at it. we're about 20 minutes in the video anyway. Things will be good. Things will be good. I like I like this one a lot more than I liked week two, and that's because it's pre-made decks. Therefore, it really comes down to luck, RNG, and who actually makes better decisions, not you know who's running the better deck. I, I think I think that's that's why I like about it. you know when. A lot of people complained, actually, in week one of Nefarian versus Ragnaros that Nefarian was OP. If you're Ragnaros, you lost all the time. I literally never lost with Ragnaros. Ever. Never lost with him. And I lost once. One time I was playing as Nefarian. And uh, week two, I lost a bunch, but I was facing Tempo Mages and uh, Face Hunters most of the time because people were just net decking when I was trying to have some fun. Some fun decks. And then here again, I have, a cr I have like a 90 win percentage or something like that. Like 90%. I'm winning almost all my games in this one as well because it's you know you can't just grab a deck off the internet and expect it to be played for you you have to actually play what's given to you and of course it's completely random right it's completely random with the cards you get but it's, all, it's about making the decisions with the cards that you have and the class that you chose you know i, I that's why i think honestly all of these tavern brawls in the future need to be pre-made decks if they're if not i mean sure people still like them people still playing but for me personally i don't think i will enjoy them as much now rogue Played some fancy. I had, I had a tough matchup against a rogue actually earlier. Doing this, so we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But we're gonna go the same strategy as always. I go face and force them to kind of trade to me because I'm playing the priest and they kind of have to. Otherwise, I mean, if she goes face with my with her two web spinners, attacks me, does two damage to my face. Oh no, I'm gonna heal myself next turn. Throw out another web spinner and do three damage to her face. It's gonna, everything that you're gonna be able to do with your web spinners alone is gonna be null and void. Oh yes, please, please attack my face, please. <laughs> All right, well thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, web spinners. Let me just heal. Let me just heal that damage you just did to me just right away and do three more damage to your face. Do you see? You see what's happening here? Eventually, they're gonna have to trade with me because I'm a priest, and <laughs> that just really seems to work. I'm happy, man. I would honestly, because you you see my level where, at the end of all my matches with the priest. I'm a very low level with a priest, and what I like about it the most is I'm actually able to like level my priest because of this, and. I just got lucky enough to have gotten a quest today is I get two wins with a priest or a paladin. I'm like, well, paladin would be terrible for this considering you get web spinners and stuff. Like, their hero power is not going to do anything. Like, so I'll play a priest where I can heal them or heal myself, I suppose. And, uh, yeah. And I kind of found that priest works very well for this. Yes, please keep attacking my face. Please. Please, please, please. <laughs> let's get out you. Let's get out you. Let's heal off most of the damage you just did to me and deal four more damage to you. You are going to have to trade with me, good sir. I'm not trading with you. <laughs> I have more health, more minions. <laughs> you have to trade with me. You're going to have to compromise. I have the upper hand by the sheer fact that I chose a priest. <laughs> telling you, man. Priest is very good for this. That's, that's half the fun of the Tavern Brawls, I think, is finding out those cool little combinations and you know, stuff that goes together. Now, are you just going to keep going face because... You're really going to lose this if you do. <laughs> well played. Ah. Ah. I don't see the point, frankly. <laughs> well played. You literally can't win this. Like it just it just isn't going to happen. All right, well, let me just heal up most of the damage you just did to me and put you down by a bunch. I'm if you're if you're looking for if you're looking for a race, I'm gonna win that race. I mean, <laughs> you need to start trading with me. It has to happen. It just has to. Like right now, between the hero power and all of his minions, you can you can you can literally wipe my whole board. Oh wait a minute, did you have a way to wipe my board? Do you have a way to wipe my board? Don't wipe my board. Oh, he's got a blade flurry! 
All right, the Iron Fur Grizzly helps, but here, check out the amount. Of oh, I'm getting a bunch of taunts. Oh, I got three taunt cards. Yes, things are going good for me. Things are still going good. Thank you. My hand is literally full. Wait, is it? Four? No, I can draw one card, I believe. I can get down the Silverback Patriarch, and I can get down the Iron Fur Grizzly next turn. And I can also Light Bomb to wipe the whole board. <laughs> Uh, all right, Patriarch and Mr. Ironfur. There we go. Instead, instead of wiping the board with a light bomb uh, and then having no board presence whatsoever, I think it's better to do it this way because between the two of them, they have seven health. Therefore, she would need to trade all but one of her web spinners to be able to kill it, which I'm down for. I mean, she's going to start, finally start getting some beast cards, but um, I'm okay with it. Then next turn, what we got? Uh, King of Beasts. I could throw down a bunch of web spinners. Let's see. King of Beasts. No, I could throw down two web spinners and then get the King of Beasts. Oh, Yeah. Very nice. Very good card. Very good card. In this situation, anyway. Actually, I mean, in arenas especially, like Stampede and Kodo is a very good card. Not so much a constructed. You don't see it very often. Actually, instead of two web spinners, I think I'm going to throw out a Timber Wolf, because that's going to buff up my uh, King of Beasts. I think we'll do it that way. Alright, so seven mana, so just to make sure this is right. Yeah, alright. Web Spinner, and Timber Wolf, and King of Beasts, which is now going to be a 5 6 with Taunt. Alright. Alright, do you have. I know Rogues, this particular Rogue deck has Assassinate. I know for a fact it does. Because I played Rogue earlier and it used Assassinate on me. But, uh, uh, doesn't look like, because, you know, if you have an Assassinate, you'd think you'd go right for it, you know, right away. Oh boy, Assassinate, you know. So, so I don't think that Assassinate's really going to come into play here. Because he's kind of sitting there contemplating how in the world am I going to get rid of that big scary 5 6. Otherwise, you're just BMing me and it's like, yeah, I'm just going to wait until like the last second and then Assassinate it. And then attack the rest of your face and then watch as you cry. Then again, if I did have an assassinate, I would kill off the timber wolf as well, because the timber wolf could potentially be pretty scary. Yep, no assassinate. You're gonna have to start trading. Aha! Aha! Here come the trades. Ah, you're you're getting a lot of cards in return, but here comes the trades. <laughs> the board is mine again. Kinda. You still have seven man to play with. You better hurry up and make some decisions there, girly. Alright, hero power. Okay, the board's no longer mine. R.I.P. Web Spinner. Ooh, it's right. Ah! No! Oh, no. Well, we light bomb that back into its deck. I think is the obvious play. And then... And I think we double Web Spinner to get some board presence. God, freaking Malorn, man. <laughs> Where's King? Honestly, though, is King Crush even in this? I have played almost 10 games, I would say, probably of this Tavern Brawl so far. And I've lost once, maybe twice, I'm not sure. But I've never once seen King Crush. Not once. I've seen Godzilla multiple times. Maxna, a couple, or multiple times. I've seen Malorn multiple times. I'm yet to see King Crush. Not once. I've never gotten him drawn to me. I've never seen it played by my opponent. Nothing. Ooh, Captain's Parrot. Big, scary Captain's Parrot. I'm okay with all this so far. I can kill off everything besides the 5-5. Five five and also heal myself. And then put down some stuff. And hopefully get something good as a result. Light Bomb. Do I Light Bomb everything off the board? Oh, that's like my whole turn. Oh, look at me. Look at me getting ahead of myself and not attacking face first. Mm -hmm. Alright, we get a Dire Wolf Alpha and a Haunted Creeper. I'll take that. Uh, let's get out the... Do we want the Angry Chicken plus the Dire Wolf? Do we want to heal? Let's heal. Let's heal and let's get out the Web Spinner. We'll do it, we'll do it that way for now. But those Light Bombs are pretty clutch. Not gonna lie. <laughs> they have been helping me with some nice AoE removal. 
But I've noticed every deck, uh, Mage has Blizzard. I don't think she has Flame Strike, but I've seen Blizzard played a couple times by a Mage. Um, Blade Flurry by a Rogue. Seen that, obviously. Where are my Stampeding Kodos? I'd be so happy to get that. <laughs> I'm yet to get any of them. I could use more Taunt Creatures. I mean, I got really lucky earlier with all the Taunt Creatures I got. But... Alright, another Web Spinner. Doesn't exactly help. Alright, so, Tall Strider. Dire Wolf Alpha. Uh, River Croc, because it's a nice beefy 2 3, which I'm a fan of. And here's the thing do I heal? Well, how much damage? You have 4, 5, 6, 7 damage. You have half my hit points on the board. Yeah, that's half my hit points. So I want. Do I. Do I okay, do I play safe and go for the heal? I think I do. I can't do that. I'm going to play safe and go for the heal instead of putting out Haunted Creeper. I would have liked to have gotten another creature on the board, but. Uh, so I don't think Rogues only eviscerates, you know, double eviscerates possibly, but I'm not sure if Rogues have eviscerate in this, so I'm just gonna play what I did. Six four two two and three three. Of course, the obvious thing is to kill off the Dire Wolf, and therefore I have a two three and a five four. But still, that's a pretty scary board given the Eb thirteen health. So chances are she's gonna have to put some things on the board to get rid of it. Deadly poison. Oh, see, this is why I'm glad I healed myself. I'm this is why I'm very glad I healed myself. Uh, ten. Is that still not enough? That's still not lethal, right? If she has Blade Flurry, so freaking help me. So help me if you have Blade Flurry. Don't have Blade Flurry. Don't have Blade Flurry. Don't have. No, that's not Blade Flurry. All right, one mana. What? Yes, Blade Flurry costs more than one mana. Woo! All right, now I can potentially. Uh, can I draw anything that can save me here? Ah, oh, that's not going to save me. So that's 8, 9, 10. I have 11 damage on board. And absolutely no way, no way of doing any more damage than what I have. Well, 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 well. Oh, uh, sh gosh. Is there anything I can do? I have to kill off literally everything. Even if I heal myself, I have to kill off literally everything. I'm pretty sure that that's GG. I'm pretty sure that there is literally nothing I can do in this situation. 8, 9, 10, 11 damage on board. 13 health. No. There, there, there's absolutely nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Well played. Well played. There's literally nothing I can do. Well played. Nothing. Ah, that Tinker's Oil, man. That Tinker's Oil did me in. Did me in. Let's go again. Try to get... No, I have six wins. So, six wins. I believe two... I think that honestly was my second loss so far. So, six and two playing this with the Priest. I haven't really played... I haven't played with any of the other decks. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm enjoying this one. Again, I think it's a lot better when it's pre-built decks as compared to uh, constructed decks. I think it's a lot better. But, yeah, I'm one, I'm one win away from getting up to uh, my three wins for my 10 gold. So I figure, let's try it for the sake of completeness. Let's try and do that here in this video. And that will be good to go. We'll be good to go, boss. Anduin versus Gerash. Gerash. I've yet to see a warrior. This should be interesting. Ooh, now I'm thinking about it. I can heal myself all fine and dandy. You can put armor on yourself, which, you, which can stack up past 30. Ah, uh, that could be potentially scary. I mean, I can heal my minions, but, you know. I don't know. That armor might prove to be difficult. We'll see. We'll see if my strategy of forcing them to trade with me will work. Oh, wait. Warrior guaranteed is going to have Whirlwind. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Breeze doesn't have AoE. Uh, aside from Light Bomb that I'm noticing anyway. Okay, you're going to enrage me? Okay. All right. Thank you for the Dire Wolf, sir. Um, it's very much appreciated. And I'm kind of hoping you attack my face because I can Dire Wolf and do four damage to your face next turn. Are you going to trade or are you going to go face? Are you going to trade or are you going to go face? Do me trade. Me go face. Ah, trading. Awful Control Warrior like. I like it. My favorite deck in the game. Control Warrior it is. What are we going to get here? A Haunted Creeper. Aha. Uh -huh. Not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna put out. I'm just gonna continue to put out web spinners until I get to the point where I have nothing but actual beast cards to play, because I like it better that way. Because in, in the late game, if you're throwing out web spinners, it's not gonna help you out as much. But if you're, you know, mid to late game, throwing out a bunch of big beasts, well, if you consider these to be big, but you're throwing out actual beasts, it's 
it's pretty good for you. And thankfully, we can kill off this with our Dire Wolf Alpha. Which, I guess that placement was really... No, the placement wasn't necessarily shitty. Never mind. The, place, the placement doesn't matter. The placement didn't matter right there. And... Go face. And... Yeah. Sick. That worked out. Now, unless he... Barring him having something else, he can... Uh, he's gonna have to trade in both spiders into my Dire Wolf Alpha. Fun fact about the warrior, I got my warrior up to level 60. Uh, today, actually. Not today, it was actually last night. I got up to level 60. And yeah, max out the warrior. I am... I know Wildcat just got his golden druid. He showed that to me. and awful, He's awful happy about it. That's awesome. I, um, I'm trying to get there as well with the warrior, but I'm pretty far away. I am 160 wins, I want to say, from a gold warrior. Which is sad. Ah, uh, two or less! Ah, that doesn't kill off that damn thing. Yeah, but the Sapien Killer will probably come in handy later. Um, well, do I... Yeah, I counter his taunt with my taunt. <laughs> How's that sound? Then I run you into you. Just get a card. All right, all right. We get that Panther, and let's run you into you. Just so I get... I, it's honestly better to have the two one ones than a 1-2, I would say. You, you know, it's more minions. Barring is some AoE. I like to have... More minions. Does he have the whirlwind? I don't know. That's the fun of it. That's, that's also the, kind of like the fun part about it too. Is when when you're playing pre-built decks. I mean, eventually you can probably learn what's in the deck and kind of what to expect. But for the most part, you're going to be completely up in the air and guessing as to what they may possibly have, which is kind of fun because the deck isn't built by people. Malorn, Malorn, my boy, big scary SOB. Yes, he is. <laughs> big and scary. Well, you just gave me some bananas, and I must say thank you for that. But, uh... Well, let's see. How do I... live without you? I can't... Ah. I wish I had unlimited mana. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, okay, so I could double banana and then heal it, right? And then light bomb, and then kill everything besides him. And it's like, okay, that requires way too much mana. You're stupid. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, double banana plus a heal. Yeah, all right. Banana, banana, healer. Yeah, six, six. Kill off Mr. Muckla. Kill off that. And throw down you. And circle healing. Woohoo! The plays. Them plays. That's the first time, honestly, in all these games I've played, the circle of healing's actually been useful. <laughs> Revenge! Alright. Alright, so it's not exactly a bouncing blade! Oh boy! Alright, well, you used your whole turn to remove what little things I had on the board. Which, to be honest, oh, I've never seen this before. It's probably just going to give me a... Ooh, that could be potentially very fun. But uh, we'll, we will play it after I play Malorn. I have returned. Oh, that's a really cool animation. <laughs> that's really cool. A big scary 9-7 for 7? That can't die. It can't die. It, it dies, just goes back into your deck. You'll never run out of cards if you have this. In theory. Anyway. Alright, so now... Alright, now you're going to start going for my face, eh? Interesting. Alright, so we're going to run Melbourne to you. Yes, yes. Huh, how does we want to do this? Let's resurrect. I think it's going to be really fun. Please don't be a web spinner. Be King of Beasts. Alright, you get a Spectral Spider. <laughs> Whatever, I thought that was fun. Uh, let's kill off that. Or not kill off that. Heal up that. I'm sorry. And we'll get out an Emperor Cobra because those things are scary because they kill anything that they touch. So if he puts out something big, Emperor Cobra can kill it. Yes, yes, yes. Very scary card. I actually, um, was it the, I think it, I think I might have lost that game in the recording I did earlier where the video quality was just terrible for whatever reason. Um, I had to play around Emperor Cobra that whole game. I'm pretty sure I lost that game as a result. Like, I could not get rid of that Emperor Cobra. And he just kept eating all my things alive. Like, it was actually a giant pain to get around. Do you have an answer for Mr. 9-4? You only have three damage on the board. You can't win fear into it because you'll die on the first try. Ah? 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 
I'm waiting. Oh, maybe he's fishing. I see. He's fishing for cards. Okay, so he doesn't have an answer right now. But he's trying to run his web spinners into Malorn so he can get some beast cards added to his hand, giving him some more options as to other ways he may be able to remove them. For example, if he were to get a Tundra Rhino, he could very easily kill him. But I'm thinking he disconnected because he's sitting here hovering over... Oh, 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 here he goes. You're running out of time there. You, you ran out. You ran out of time there. Oh, that circle of healing is. <laughs> that circle of healing would have boned him anyway, man. It really would have. All right, so three out of three wins. Leveling up the old priesty priest a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I did get my warrior up to level. I love how I said this was gonna probably be short. It's already forty minutes in. But um, I leveled up my warrior, and if you ever want to check your warrior or not your warrior, but your uh, ranks, just go to your quest log, and from there you can see your ranks with all the heroes. Uh, my warrior's now level 60. It's pretty cool. If you guys will know, uh, leveling up a character in Hearthstone is pretty fun because you get rewards. Basically, there's basic cards that come to the game. Now, let me show you that real quick, just for those guys that may be unaware of how this works. Uh, let's type in basic. That's going to be the basic cards. If you don't know what basic cards are, they are cards that come by default with Hearthstone. So all of these are going to be basic Hearthstone cards that came with the Druid by default, and you get them just by leveling up your Druid up to like level 10, I believe it is. I believe all these cards can be earned up to level 10. And here are a bunch of basic cards that came by default with Hearthstone as well. Those are they're, they're not common, they're not rare, they're not epic, they're not legendary. They have no rarity whatsoever. They are basic cards. And what they did as kind of an incentive for leveling up a character like the Warrior, the Hunter, Warlock, or what have you, is it made it so you can actually get golden versions of these basic cards by leveling them up. Now, for example, I'm not sure exactly what the levels were, but I did. Uh, I got gold, two golden raid leaders by leveling up my warrior. I got two golden silverback patriarchs by leveling up my warrior. I got uh, the last two ones, actually level 59 and level 60, you get the golden wolf rider for leveling up your warrior. You get golden showman yetis at some point as well. It's just, uh, it's pretty cool because these are comp these are uh, basic cards, you cannot craft these. Soulbound. C basic cards cannot be disenchanted or crafted. You cannot craft these, so you can't get golden ones of these cards without leveling up your characters. Now, for example, if you, you can look it up. You can look up, like, Hearthstone, whatever your favorite hero may be. Paladin, for example. And you can look up what cards that you actually get at certain levels while leveling up your uh, while leveling up your hero. Like, for example, I know the Paladin. Uh, by leveling up, you can eventually get Golden Stormwind Champions. Very good for you to play card. Um, I know for a fact that you get a uh, golden gold shower footman. I'm pretty sure if you level up your hunter, you're going to end up getting golden iron for grizzlies. You know, you get these basic cards golden as well as if you actually go to, uh, let's get rid of basic here. If you, if you go to uh, your hero, you can actually get golden versions actually of basic cards. So let's actually type in basic real quick. I don't know why I got rid of that now I'm thinking about it. So these are all basic cards. You know, Execute, Fiery War Axe, Whirlwind, Cleave. These are all basic cards for the hunt or for the warrior that you get. And by leveling up your warrior, the higher levels you get, eventually you start unlocking uh, golden executes, golden fiery war axes, which look amazing, golden cleaves, golden whirlwinds, you know, golden heroic strikes, shield blocks, or song commander, charge, arc knight reapers, and core Khan elites, which is pretty cool. Now keep in mind those are only for the basic cards. Like other cards aren't basic, like cards actually have a rarity and you get them from packs like armor smith for example you don't get golden just by leveling up your warrior you'd have to either get lucky from a pack or craft it yourself so that makes sense hopefully that makes sense so that's why i have one regular slam one golden slam you know that's why uh one regular ogre war mall one golden one because i just happened to get a golden one out of a pack and i kept it you know that's the only that's the difference i suppose there at golden axe flingers because i crafted them because i thought they were really cool and uh <laughs> So yeah, or you can get lucky like me and get two golden siege engines just randomly out of packs. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. I got him up to level 60, and I wish they would give you more reward, I think, though. If you get your class hero up to level 60, I'll say you get the warrior to 60, I think you should get every legendary for that hero, like, given to you. You know, I think they should just show up in there, like, as extras, and, like, maybe, if not, if you already have them, maybe they just give you a bunch of dust, like, the equivalent so you can craft your own legendary, or something like that, just as, like, a more of a reward. And if you get your hero up to golden, which requires 500 wins in ranked, which right now, as a warrior, I am 330, so I'm 170 away. If you actually get up to 500 wins, your hero, of course, becomes animated and golden, and there's, uh, for warriors, fire in the background, and your armor up looks really cool and stuff. That's really cool, but they should also give you, like, golden legendaries for your class or something like that. And if you already have golden legendaries for that class, maybe give you the dust equivalent, like 3,200 dust, in exchange for that 
this is a bit more of an incentive to keep on playing because right now i mean golden basic cards are cool and golden basic cards that you get from your class and uh the standard collection they're cool but at the same time i think it'd be a little, just a little bit more rewards i think for putting in all that time because it took a very long time to get to warrior up to level 60 and the next one uh right now hunter's highest i've always kind of played the hunter not face hunter but just hunter i just enjoy the beast synergy but i haven't played a lot of it lately warlock is one i'm really into right now aside from warrior so warlock's gonna be leveling up a bit and, uh, yeah, if you're ever just wondering, hover over the thing, it tells you what level you unlock a new golden common card, like golden healing touch at level 20, uh, golden void walker at 36, uh, nothing for the warrior except max level with it, uh, golden lights justice at 36, golden sinister strike, you know, it's pretty cool, it's a cool little system. Well, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I think, I'll, I, went, think I went on long enough with that, it, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I went on so long with that, but I'm just happy! I got my guy up to level 60, I have a bunch of gold cards for that deck, and I'm looking forward to maybe, hopefully, uh, getting myself up to the uh, Golden Warrior. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that is Tavern Brawl Week 3. This was a pretty fun one, I'd say. I liked it a lot better than I liked last week's. I think it was definitely pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what they come up with next week. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.